Hello and welcome everyone and in today's video I'm going to be doing a bookish gift guide. So naturally these are all of the uh, gifts that you can give to book lovers seeing as though it is the Christmas season. Um, please let me know if this microphone is okay. It's brand new. It's an early Christmas present um, and that if this lighting's okay. So please let me know down in the comments. But I thought since the festive season's coming up I would do a bookish gift guide for you guys. So um let's just delve right into it first of all you could get them a candle like especially like a um character candle if you really like to so this one that i've got here this is the nina candle from uh six of crows it's from an australian based company called 10 points um the best thing is that about the candles is that they're vegan and soy but of course you can get candles from anywhere like i said you can get ones based off their favorite characters if you know what their favorite characters are what their favorite books are or i'm sure you could probably just find a regular bookish candle somewhere or even just a candle in general you could probably be fine with um finding next up is something that i've actually been using quite recently and that is tabs these ones are from amazon um you can you don't just have to get them from amazon you can get them from anywhere um but these ones came in like a pack with a whole bunch of them um i just didn't want to pull them all out so i just thought i'd get these ones but tabs are great like i said i've only just started recently tabbing and i'm like why didn't i do it sooner um for me i don't have like a particular organized like uh organizational way with the way that i tab up my books um i just do it however i want to do it but i know that there are some readers out there that like doing it by color so if you get them some tabs and maybe they can get a start on that like i said these ones are from amazon i think i got a pack for like 20 bucks or something but that was on the amazon um prime day sale so i'm not sure how much i would be now but i'm sure if you just look them up hopefully you could find them uh very cheap or even just get some normal ones from somewhere but yes tabs are always a great idea especially if they want to get into annotating we've also of course got a bookmark you can never go wrong with a bookmark i know some people love dog earring but bookmarks are always great to have um so we've got a mixture of ones here so i just wanted to show you the kind of different options that you can get so this one is oh and <laughs> this one is a fabric bookmark here um so as you can see it's just fabric here it is of course sewn it's got like a um pink flower and hats design on the front there and then it's got a blue one on the side and a tassel this one is from a company called charlie and fox co you will be seeing a lot of stuff from them um but yes yeah, so overall fabric bookmarks are great especially if they're paranoid about a bookmark damaging their books then fabric ones are great or you can get them just like a regular kind of cardboardy type one. Um, this one is from Book Book Hour. I will of course leave all these um, the just the these companies linked in the description. But this one is from Book Book Hour, an, the Australian based company. Um, so they are just a bit more. It's not totally like cardboard, but it is a bit more sturdy. Um, and obviously, that's not rubbing off at all. That is. It's, it's digitally put on there, so you won't have a problem in regards to that. Um, but she makes great bookmarks. I, I, I adore Jen. Um, she's the company. She's the one who does it all. I adore her bookmarks, and she's got heaps of great designs for particular books, particular quotes. So if you think maybe they might be after something more sturdy, or you look on their website and base of a particular book, then these ones are always great. So bookmarks. Are always a winner. I feel like that this is an essential for everyone to have. This is a book light. I got this one from Dimix a couple of years ago. Um, this one is actually rechargeable um, but it clips on to the book like this so it just literally has a clip. Um, it doesn't leave any staining or any marks so that's always fantastic. Um, and then there's a head here and that's where the light comes out. It is quite bright, so I'm going to try my best not to. There, see? It's quite bright. It has two settings. I don't know if both of the settings are working at the minute because this one is quite old and it does <laughs> and it does need to be recharged. I promise it's a lot easier than that when you first get it, but um, it does need to be recharged. So, But these are always great, especially if you read in the dark and you don't have a Kindle um, and or whatever reason, like it can't be on your phone or you don't want to be on your phone while you're... Um, relaxing then book lights are always great like i said i got mine from dimmix but you can literally get them from anywhere and i'm pretty sure you can get them in all types of colors as well um so yeah book lights always always a winner I feel like this is a book lovers essential 
book book sleeves this one again is from Charlie and Fox Co um, as you can see this one uh, was a particular print this is a how to train your dragon print which I love I love how to train your dragon but we're not talking about that um, yes as I said a book sleeve these are fantastic for anyone who takes like their books on the go um, they even do Kindle and Kobo pouches as well so if you know anyone who has one of those and regularly brings um, brings it with them these are always great. These ones in particular are really sturdy. They do have like, um, what are they called? Wet clip button things that clip on like that. They look like this on the inside. Trust me, I went to a party once and brought my book with me because do I need to explain? Um, and someone spilled alcohol. <laughs> Luckily it landed on my book sleeve and it did not damage my book at all and I just put the book sleeve through the wash and it came out straight away there was no staining there was no smells there was nothing like that so they are fantastic quality these come everywhere with me um, I love book sleeves you don't just have to get them from Charlie and Fox I think you can literally get them from anywhere um, I think a company called Bookbow or something does really good ones unfortunately they are an American brand and I don't think that they ship internationally well at least they don't ship to Australia anyway so that's why I have to get mine from Charlie and Fox, but you can get them from Etsy, maybe off Amazon. Um, you can literally get them from anywhere, but I think that they are absolutely great. And you can also get them um, a cup as well. Again, Charlie and Fox coat. This is not sponsored by them. I want to make that very clear. It's just I get a lot of stuff from them. Um, but this one in particular is a mug. It's obviously got a lot of different sayings on it, such as read, once upon a time, book ever, novel, adventure books, books and tea. I'm not going to read it all. Um, but this one's actually, as you can hear, like really sturdy really good quality um i put this through the washer and none of the writing has come off it is still the same quality as when i purchased the item um so just know i don't know if they're dishwasher safe but i chucked mine in there anyway and it's been totally fine um so yeah they're absolutely great so you can get mugs um personally i think mugs are always a winner um not just a bookish mug you can just get a mug in general um i always think that they're an absolute winner and the next one this is a bookish t-shirt this is from caffeine and curses um this one says bookworm on it in uh all these different colors um I'm pretty sure that this is another Australian company I don't remember in particular but I love this shirt it is a little long so you do either have to tie it up or tuck it in I tend to tuck it in but either way I still love this shirt amazing quality um as someone who lives in a very hot country um a lot of t-shirts can be very sweaty these ones aren't they are fantastic um and I don't feel like I'm absolutely sweating up a storm in them especially over the summer period and I want to wear a t-shirt um, so these ones are great. This one is a small. I am a small myself. So um, if someone else is maybe, if you're looking at a small, this is kind of what it looks like here. But these ones are great. Caffeine and Curses does a whole bunch of t-shirts, jumpers. Um, surely I haven't been able to get much else from them, but hopefully down in the future I'll be able to. Um, but yes, yeah, so t-shirts, kind of merchandise, kind of like this. You can get them off Etsy. Um, you can pretty much get them anywhere. They are always a winner. And you can not just get ones to say bookworm, you can get ones from some of their favourite books, characters, etc. The same way, but I always love these ones. They're always great. Might be a bit hit or miss, I don't know. Um, that is bookish art prints. Um, I do want to make it clear, this one is from Fairy Loot, so you can't track this one down, but I didn't want to take the other ones off my wall. Um, but yes, bookish art prints. So I feel like these are always a winner. These ones are the, from an Ember in the Ashes, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, but yes, like I said, this one is from Fairy Loot, but I feel like I was trying to get my point across here. Um, that bookish art prints are always the way to go. I get mine a lot from Etsy. I've also gotten it from A Touch of Magic Designs, who is another Australian-based company, and they're always great. Um, you can get them for what they're same uh from their favorite books favorite characters yes art prints are always a win as well and i'm pretty sure you could probably find some um maybe super cheap some of them can be a bit pricey so just be wary of that last but not least i feel like this one's always a great one this is what's called a book seat i love this thing um so as you can see it has a little hook here i don't use this hook because i don't have anywhere to hook it um but this one is always great so you can either put it on your lap or you can have it in bed with you or on the couch um as you can hear it does have beads in it so it keeps it up standing nice and sturdy it has a little um 
it's not glass well it kind of is glass um panel here so what happens is you just put the book there and then depending on which height you want you use this here to adjust it so if the book might be that might be that long then you work oh put it there adjust that boom and then whenever you want to uh, turn the page, you either just flick that down or you could either just let that loose a little bit, flick it down, flick the page, put it back up. Um, I like to have this just a teeny bit loose so it is easier for me just to face down and turn the page. It's really great, it's really easy. Um, it also has this little flap at the back here where you can put maybe your annotating supplies, uh, bookmarks. I tend to put marks in here because I always lose mine. Um, or they get stolen by a certain sibling. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah, this one, I got this one as a gift. I think it was from QBD Books. Um, you could probably hunt it and find it down anywhere. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is great. I love this thing. Um, it's fantastic. And it's especially great for those big kind of chunky books. Or if your hands might be hurting, or if you're having a drink or something to eat and just can't be bothered holding your book or have the time to, then having this is great. Or if you don't have a bookmark on hand or anything to hold your place with and don't want to dog ear your books, then at least that way it keeps the page open so you know where you're up to. So I would definitely recommend a book seat. I think that's everything for this bookish kind of gift guiding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what is something, what is a gift that you always recommend for a book lover yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!